Hey guys, Lindsay with The Scrap Room here. I got a message the other day from somebody who really liked my Fairy Wings clip art set, but they weren't really sure how to use them, so I wanted to put together this quick little tutorial to show you how. Um, I'm going to use Canva for this tutorial. I'm using the Pro version because we're going to utilize some of their fancier background tools to do this project. Um, so first what you want to do is create a new document or workspace to work in and upload your photo. You can click on the upload button over in the left menu and then click on the upload option to add the um, photo from your computer. I'm just going to use a um, stock photo of a woman on here today for this quick video. Um, something with her face on is usually easiest to work with because you don't have to work with the weird angles and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm going to use this woman in the white dress here on the beach. Now, what you want to do is just click on the photo to select it and then go over to the photo editing options up in the upper left and click on the magic grab icon. Uh, when you're in magic grab, you can either click on a, a subject in the photo or use the brush. Um, the click is a lot easier, but sometimes it doesn't really work if there's a lot of little details. But this woman's there's a good contrast with her and the background, so I can just use the click on her. So you can see I've cl clicked on her there and she's highlighted and it's processing. It takes a minute or so to process, but what that's going to do is remove her from the background to create basically two separate layers that you can work with. And then you're going to upload the wings and slip them between those two layers. So here you can see that it's finished processing and she's outlined so you know she's removed from the background. Um, so if you go over in the left uh, left menu again and click on upload, you can upload your fairy wings or if you've already done that like me, you'll find them in your library right there. And once they're there in your library, you just click on them to add them to your workspace and you can click on the corner to resize it larger or smaller as needed. I like to position it in, when it's on top like that so you can see where it is um, a, like alignment wise with the person that you're trying to add them to. But once you get it how you think you want it, you can right click on the wings and click on um, to bring the layer behind. And then if you need to adjust any of the colors to blend the layers a little bit better, you can just click on the individual elements and then click on the edit options and go to um, adjustments. And from there you can tweak the different tones and colors and things like that. When you're all done editing your photo and you're ready to save it, just go up to the share button in the upper right hand corner and click on that. And in the drop down menu, click on download and then choose the uh, file format that you want to download it in. Probably going to be a JPEG or a PNG for this one. All right, and that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe and have a great day. See you next time.